Hello, Revit family. This is Chris with Valor VDC, where we are building better families and better Revit workflows. Today, I'd like to take a few minutes and talk to you about our IMI flow design strainers. Yeah, I know it's a strainer. There's not much there, but as I was digging into these and creating them, I found that there is a bit more to them than uh, what I thought. Um, one of the things was we were using them on a project, so I called IMI up, and I'm like, hey, you got any families? And they replied, no, but we but we can send you out an STP file. And I'm like, okay, yeah, go ahead, send me out the uh, SOLIDWORKS file, and I'll do what I have to to get it into the model. Uh, they took a few days. I didn't have time to wait for them, so I just built the family myself from the uh, description. Inside the submittal, and this is what we got. So jumping into Revit. Um, you can see I already got a pre-made template set up here with a uh, the device already inside. Uh, it's four inch, and as you look, you you can go from two and a half to eight, and back to four. So if we were to look at this in a three D view, zoom out, you can see. I'm not a big fan of that view. So let's turn it. You can see I got four connectors to it. And in the submittal, it shows four connectors. You got the in, the out, the three-quarter female tap, and then the blow-off connection. And, and I do have these. But also in, in the submittal, when you look, if you look at the actual picture of the device itself, it shows two test ports and a three-quarter inch blow-off. In the submittal here, it only shows one test port and a three-quarter inch blow-off. So I elected to make it look like what the actual product looks like. So I, so I put these ports in. Additionally, it also says you can add two more quarter-inch female taps. So let's say you got to put some additional test ports in or something, gauges, whatever. You can go ahead and drop them in, 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 in there too. And I made that provision by clicking on the device and then you can say test ports right you can move away and you can see that two these these two popped in here or if i were to go back and you uncheck that and you say test ports left you can see that they jumped in there on that side let's just go ahead and flip this thing around and you can see so they're there so we have these and we also have clearance zone for the strainer pool so that during coordination you can make sure nobody's running through your clearance zone and if you work with a company like whiting turner or something they're big on having clearance zones on their stuff and if you don't want to see the clearance zone just check on the device and turn it off and then it disappears not hard so um pipe into these are very easy all, all you got to do is you can come over here and you can grab grab a fabrication fitting. Go ahead and flip that around. Go up here and add a pipe. Whoops. Put the pipe on the wrong connector. Try that again. So your fabrication fitting goes there. If you choose to use families, I got a couple of my families plugged in here. This is a flange. I can just come in here, I can just bump that bad boy right there. For some reason, it likes to drop one right in on top. For, I, don't, I don't know, it's just a little quirk. I just delete it, and then I come off and I draw the pipe off the side. And I get my connectors. And uh, you want to look at this in a 3D view. See the difference between the fabrication fittings and mine and uh, if you want to add stuff since I got pipe connectors for the top oops that's not the one I wanted so you can go ahead and click on this and you can drag a piece of pipe off the top if you want to use Revit families Let's put a valve in there okay Snap a valve right there. Let's go ahead and twist it around. Or if, or if you want to put a valve in a drain in the bottom, 
we got the blowout area. Like I said, this this set of uh, fabrication fittings are straight out of the out of the Autodesk out of, out of the box stuff, so everyone has them, and that's what you get. Go back in here, you can see that uh, you have a complete assembly. And like I said, if you don't have those test ports on the side, you can go ahead and turn them off, and they're gone. One thing I would like to add, uh, these test ports, if you want to add pipe connectors to the test ports, by default, I didn't put them in because the four are the primary ones, and every time you put a pipe connector in, you, you get the flip parameters, and it's just not good uh, to have too many of them. So I left them out and most likely you're not going to use these test ports anyway, but if you do want to use them, they're very simple. Just click on the connector, go to edit family, zoom in, and then hit pipe connector here. And it's on face. So all you got to do is just place it in there. You can place another one. Let me go do it again. Go back to create pipe connector. Click there and you can just click on, you can highlight them both. And then come in here and you can turn them to global. I got them global because that's what I got all the other connectors set to on this fitting um, or device. And then I just go in there and I assign the size and they're quarter inch taps. So it's the radius of a quarter inch. So it'd be an eighth inch. Whoops. Nah, got that one wrong. Let's do it this way. So voila, you, you've got pipe connectors right there and if you do have them showing on the side you want to put one in on the side they'll snap there too it's it's very simple you can just add one and then you can come over here but like i said by default i i leave them off because i don't like having so many pipe connectors on a fitting or or, or a device because Every time you add one, it adds a flip parameter, and then you start getting confused as to what flip parameter goes where, and you start flipping the device around. It just doesn't work. So, so that's a disclaimer. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to hit that like button, uh, share it with a friend, and subscribe so that the next time I put something else up, could be another fitting, could be a good how-to video on, on how to make your life much easier while working inside a Revit. I've been inside a Revit for over six years. Yeah, I'm not one of those 10 year plus guys, but uh, I've been, but I work inside a Revit eight hours a day. So I know a lot of the ins and outs and some of the backdoor stuff.